One of my favorite parables took place right here in Capernaum because at the time of Jesus, this place was known as the millstone capital of the world. Now, we don't know what millstones basically are in our vernacular today, but they were very, very important to the people at the time. Think of them as, a, as an ancient Cuisinart. It was two round, large stones that worked together in grist mills to grind the wheat and other grains, and it was critical to the people's food supply. So remember in, in Luke 17 too, where Jesus said, uh, if anyone would harm any of the least of these, these little ones who believe in me, it would be better if they had a large millstone put on their neck and drowned in the sea. The people could see all of that. There's, even today, you walk around, there's ancient millstones just strewn around. They're probably worth fortunes, but of course they're, they're protected here. And there's the, there's the Sea of Galilee. So the people understood. And that's why they followed so closely on the heels of Jesus. Because when a, when a rabbi says the Shema at the beginning of the day, Hear, O Israel, the Lord, the Lord our God is one. Then he'd say, Come. And the people would follow wherever he went. And you weren't allowed really to say, Where are we going, rabbi? And what are you going to teach us? You just had to trust. And nobody, nobody could spin a parable like Jesus did. He was the master at it.